Hello and welcome to Leicester Spot Diagnosis, using social media to enhance peer-led medical education. I'd like to uh, comment a little more on a post a few days ago, so I'm going to scroll down. And a few days ago I show you this picture here. What is the diagnosis? Here's a brain showing some atrophy in some areas but not in others. And suggest what the person's behaviour may have been like before death. Now I had a suggestion of Alzheimer's disease here. So I'd like to show you a brain that has Alzheimer's and you can see how it's different to this brain. Okay, so this was, as we said, Pick's disease, which um, has atrophy, particularly of the frontal and some of the temporal lobes. Let's me show you Alzheimer's. Here's Alzheimer's. So we can see that there's atrophy of the brain. We can see that by the sulci being widened, the gyri being thinned. So the gyri are the bumps, the sulci are the the valleys between the mountains, if you like to think of it that way. But we can see that the atrophy is uniform. And if you were to do a CT of this um, brain, you would see disproportionate hippocampal atrophy. And let me show you one other picture. Here again is Alzheimer's. Look at the, um, the big gaps here in, in the sulci. Now I've got another image to compare that to. And this is actually glioblastoma, it's, um, but ignore that, I'm interested in showing you the sulci, uh, the grey matter and the white matter, and the sulci, very narrow, very thin, there's hardly any daylight between them. Take that back to here, lots of daylight between the sulci, and the grey matter is thinned. So compare that with this, non-Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's. Okay, so let's take you back to Leicester Spot Diagnosis. We also had a suggestion of schizophrenia here. Now, okay, it is actually true that um, in type 2 schizophrenia, this is the type where you generally have the negative symptoms and the insidious onset, there are actually some imaging changes associated with that. And I have this article here, let me just show you the title. And there has been extensive research into neuroimaging in schizophrenia. Um, and it concludes here um, that there are abnormalities, they're subtle, um, but they are not yet of clinical or diagnostic relevance. So you can't CT or MRI someone's head and say the diagnosis is schizophrenia, nor can you look at this brain and say schizophrenia. You can't do that. It's a clinical diagnosis. Okay, so we concluded that this was Pick's disease. Um, so we can see uh, atrophy, particularly of the frontal lobe and the temporal areas somewhat. Here is the uh, Sylvian fissure, and it's much more atrophy on this side than it is over here. Okay, Pick's disease. One more thing to say about that is that um, Alzheimer's and vascular dementia, they affect people um, generally a lot older than Pick's disease, which is a type of dementia that affects people generally a lot younger. Thanks very much for watching.